Hello, welcome, I'm Scrumpy, thanks for joining me. This is episode 11 of our Let's Play as King Alfred of Wessex. And we are currently fighting against the Norse who are trying to claim the county of Wessex. We have 41% war score in our favour. We, Although we have more troops currently, that's only, we have more troops than Jorvik now after we defeated them in a big battle in Oxford in the last episode. We don't have more than when we when we don't have mercenaries and given that we are negative the mercenaries are going to leave us. We need a white piece. White piece would be a victory for us. They won't accept it just yet. I've got to hope that if we can assault this uh, holding here that might might work. They're going to come back for us I can see. Let's try and assault this holding and hope that it does the job. I hope so, because I think those mercenaries are going to leave us very soon because we're negative money. So I'm going to pause it as soon as we've done that one. Will they accept it yet? They will. Right. They're, you're coming for us. We're, we're negative money. We're going to lose our mercenaries. I'm going to peace. We're going to peace out. And we will stand down our mercenaries and head over to Dorset. So let's put ourselves in the middle and put Ildwin on one of the flanks. Over we go, head for Dorset. Let's hope that the message goes up to uh, to York in time and they and they peace out. Peace out, man. Give us a break, please. Give us a break. Then to get married. Hey, the Jorvik conquest of Wessex has ended. White peace. To the vile fanatic Alfred, your low character is the subject of Greek plays. I accept your offer of peace. Well, good on you, chief. We're going to again attack these Vikings. It might be quicker for us actually to... Yeah, it might be smarter for us to do this. And oh, I can't disband our levies because... We've got Vikings in our land. Okay, let's pause a sec. I want to have a little look at whether we can arrange a marriage with anybody good. So this, uh, we've got a Midas Touch Courtier. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I want to just have a look at the Carling, see if there's any, any good Carling Dynasty girls here. Let's have a little look. Carlings. No. Really? I find that a bit hard to believe. See, this this is reasonable actually. This courtier here, but she's weak. And I'm not. I'm not having that. Uh, yeah, I'm not having that disposition passed down to my children. So I'm just going to have a quick search again um, for women anywhere. Interestingly, actually, this 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 woman. It's very good actually. She's a courtier and she would come she would come to my court. So while we're while we're here, you come to our court, please. Um, you're pretty good too. And I reckon you might I reckon you would become Christian with a little bit of She's Greek. Is there much point bringing a Greek over? Mm. Yes. There is. Hey, uh, any Anglo-Saxons? No. Okay. Uh, a, a red, a hot, very hot looking Bohemian wants to come and join us. Mm, I'm getting a bit, I'm getting a bit distracted here, aren't I? I can tell. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by women. Uh, we were looking for a wife. I want to just check all the Carling dynasty. Because, yeah, I, I think that, uh, not that we'll join our court any, I'm looking for people that will get married to us. I thought, you know, it's, we want to marry to the Carlings if we can still. Yeah, see now, there's actually, you, you, there's an attractive girl, but she's a bit young. There's a 13 year old who will come of age in two years here, it's actually pretty decent. 
you know, reasonable stats, and she'll get an education trait, a level four. If she gets a level four, it'll really boost one of them. Um, you are definitely the best we've seen so far. I'm going to try and marry you. It'll be a betrothal, won't it? Marry me. We've gained some prestige. King Alfred the Bold won't accept the offer. That's a shame. Okay, let's let some time pass. Can I imprison you that 43% chance? Can't imprison you, but you'll raise your flag and I will squash you, sir. I will come and squash you in a minute. Come on, give me some decent options. To the just wit, Alfred. Peace be with you. I accept your gracious invitation and will join your court forthwith. This is a beautiful redhead. Greek. Will she convert? No. I'll give you some money soon though, love, and you will. Stuart Edelhard has some interesting ideas on how to improve the economy. It will cost us five gold, but we'll get economic invention innovations until 12th of April 877. Five years of economic innovations. Or we could say it's not worth it and he won't like me. No, I, we want economic innovations because it will increase eco economy technology spread rate by 100%. Big boost. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, budget deficits is bad news. Um, but we need to um, drive these Vikings out. I've got options here on what my my vassals are available. Also, I can select a new focus, so I need to have a little bit of a think about about that. We don't necessarily need to fight at the moment. I like carousing because it bolsters opinion. We don't need any extra rulership or business stuff, and there's such a high chance we'll be at war. It's just not worth it. We haven't got a wife at the moment, so there's no point doing family. Let's stick on carousing for now, because you know, we can always change that then at any time. We won't be fixed for another five years to something else. So I'm happy with that. Just looking at the vassals, Earl of Sussex is minus one. Let's give you an honorary title. Let's make you master of the hunt. So lots of these have dropped because we're no longer at war. So the mayor of Southampton. Yeah, we really need to keep improving relations in Wessex. That is important. About money situation. Once we get uh, once we get Wessex up and running again, and it's not looted. Yeah, so these are being looted. I would think probably the best place to gather. Uh, taxes from is probably Wessex, so we'll go there, and I think we'll train troops in Wessex as well. Let's get Wessex really bolstered again. Let's build it back up. I want to get married. I want this bishop to like me. I want the Pope to like me. Ah, oh, we're not at war. Let's do some cruising. I do love my career. I love to cruise. Yeah, you know, I love to cruise. Um, uh, I guess I can't. Can't I cruise up because. Oh, no, I can. I can. Okay, I can't do cruising at the moment because. Apparently, we're not at peace. No, because we've got to kill. I forgot. Can't cruise because we've got to go and take out Baldy over there. We'll do that as soon as we've managed to discharge. The guys, the Vikings in Somerset. Uh, this slightly odd looking uh, Anglo Saxon girl. She's a big girl, age 16, but she's got lovely traits, apart from ambitious. She's a grey eminence. I wish I'd had her before because I would have married her to my Chancellor and um, she would have been a real, a real cracker. So let's see if we can marry her matrilineally into somebody in my court. Like my steward. My steward will do. Ah, she's label. My steward actually is. He's not loving me. My spy master's not loving me. Goodness. Somehow he thinks we fired him from the council, which we so did not. That's really weird. 
That's really weird. All right. Um, yeah, he thinks we fired him from the council. I don't understand why we actually appointed him into the role. That's really, really weird. All right, well, we've got to get on with it. Um, if we get you married, sir, you might, you might like us a little bit more. You are German. We've got, you know, so you can't, we can't marry you matrilineally to any of these girls, can we? No. That's a shame. I'm going to just have a quick look for characters that are women, that are not in prison, that are not married, that are in my diplomatic range, my culture, my religion, and will join my court. Yeah, none there. All right. Oh, it's not great when your spy master hates you. That is not good. It's a little bit glitchy in my opinion. So he's low born, so can I marry, and he wants to get married, and he's German. Can I marry you off to anybody? Yeah, I could marry you off to this person. He's Anglo-Saxon. You'll like me a bit more. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's what we should do there. Let's drive these Vikings out and then go and sit on Surrey. They're going anyway. Are we losing money? No, we're not making much money. Go to Surrey and get and, and get this war finished. Quickly, please. Right, I'm gonna wrap this episode up here. We've got a we've got a bald email, we've got a bald 67-year-old man who impregnated my former wife um, to deal with, but we can do that next episode. Thanks for joining me guys, see you next time. Mm -hmm.